Welcome back to Poems in the Time of Plague. So, I did say I wasn't going to do any long poems, and I'm really not. Um, but one thing I can listen to over and over again is Richard Burton reading Dylan Thomas's Under Milk Wood. It's truly a stunning poem in form, language, scope, imagination, length. It was originally billed as a radio play for voices, and it was commissioned by the BBC for radio. I'm only going to read my favourite bit, the introduction, which is four or five minutes long, um, the part read by the first voice. As the whole thing takes somewhere around an hour and a half, two hours, as it sweeps across the benighted town of Hlagereb, which is bugger all backwards, sampling the dreams of its inhabitants. I can't help but pick up some of Richard Burton's undertones of Welsh, so you'll have to excuse me for that. If you like this, you will love the original. Burton recorded three versions, decades apart, and they are all far superior to Thomas's recording of his own work. Under Milkwood. To begin at the beginning. It is spring, moonless night in the small town, starless and Bible black, the cobble streets silent and the hunched, quarters and rabbits wood, limping invisible down to the slow black, slow black, crow black fishing boat bobbing sea. The houses are blind as moles, the moles see fine tonight in the snouting velvet dingles, or blind as Captain Cat, there in the muffled middle by the pump and the town clock. The shops in mourning, the welfare hall in widow's weeds, and all the people of the lulled and dumbfound town are sleeping now. Hush. The babies are sleeping, the farmers, the fishers, the tradesmen and pensioners, cobbler, school teacher, postman and publican, the undertaker and the fancy woman, drunkard, dressmaker, preacher, policeman, the webfoot cocklewomen and the tidy wives. Young girls lie bedded soft or glide in their dreams, with rings and trousseau, brides mated by glowworms down the aisles of the organ-playing wood. The boys are dreaming wicked, or of the bucking ranches of the night and the jolly rogered sea. And the anthracite statues of the horses sleep in the fields, and the cows in the byres, and the dogs in the wet-nosed yards, and the cats nap in the slant corners or lope, sly, streaking and needling on the one cloud of the roofs. You can hear the dew falling and the hushed town breathing. Only your eyes are unclosed to see the black and folded town fast and slow asleep. And you alone can hear the invisible star fall the darkest before dawn minutely dew-grazed stir of the black, dab-filled sea where the Arethusa, the Curlew and the Skylark, Zanzibar, Rhiannon, the Rover, the Cormorant and the Star of Wales tilt and ride. Listen. It is night moving in the streets, the processional salt-slow musical wind in Coronation Street and Cockle Row. It is the grass growing on Klagereb Hill, dewfall, starfall, the sleep of birds in milk wood. Listen. It is night in the chill, squat chapel, hymning in bonnet and brooch and bombazine black, butterfly choker and bootlace bow, coughing like nanny goats, sucking mintos, forty winking hallelujah. Night in the fore ale, quiet as a domino, in Oki Milkman's lofts like a mouse with gloves, in Dye Bread's bakery flying like black flower. It is tonight in Donkey Street, trotting silent with seaweed on its hooves, along the cockled cobbles, past curtained fern pot, text and trinket, harmonium, holy dresser, watercolours done by hand, china dog and rosy tin tea caddy. It is night, neddying among the snuggeries of babies. It is night, dumbly, royally winding through the coronation cherry trees, going through the graveyard of Bethesda with winds gloved and folded and dew doffed. 
tumbling by the sailor's arms. Time passes. Listen. Time passes. Come closer now. Only you can hear the houses sleeping in the streets in the slow, deep, salt and silent black bandaged night. Only you can see in the blinded bedrooms, the comms, the petticoats over the chairs, the jugs and basins, the glasses of teeth, thou shalt not on the wall, and the yellowing dicky bird watching pictures of the dead. Only you can hear and see, behind the eyes of the sleepers, the movements and the countries and mazes and colours and dismays and rainbows and tunes and wishes and flight and fall and despairs and big seas of their dreams. From where you are, you can hear their dreams. There's another like hour and 25 minutes of that. So dig in. YouTube has a number of versions. Until next time, thanks and good night. Bye-bye.